So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout Mika! Hey! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun! So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on! Oh! It's a note to me, dear Mika. <gasps> and it's from Blippi. Oh, <laughs> let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy B's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a... Hmm. <laughs> A chef's hat, okay. Carrot seeds, huh. And colorful ribbon, interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool, and Billy Bee's socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village, <laughs> sounds fun, let's go. means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions. Two onions. One, two. Yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right. Potatoes! One, two! Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy! Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two! <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds! Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food, excuse me, and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil, and some water, and some beautiful sunshine, and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm, maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a, uh, yellow snack, like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Mm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, OK. OK. All right. I got to go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look. It's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer, and there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa. There's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and... Let's make a sandwich! Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread, 
Mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh. It's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! <laughs> Tasty! What else is in here? Oh! A really tiny soda! Oh! <sighs> nice and refreshed! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this cool sink! Oh! Looks like there's some dirty dishes here! Ooh! Ooh! We really need to clean this spatula! So, oh! Here's a sponge! A little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay, Whoop. there you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm going to have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see, maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> Ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's too hot. It's too hot. Okay. I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Whoa, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color Green, and this is orange, and blue, and green. Hey, 
there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one, whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> that must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds. And oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. Will you do one with me? Awesome, let's see how we can get started. <gasps> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi Mika, I'm Trudy and welcome to ODBK's new learning playground. Hi Trudy, nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What, that sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? Cool. So how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Check it out. We're at the science lab. For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go. Whoa. Mind gym. Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh. It's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> See all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Oh, looks like a balloon and a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, <laughs> this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut. 
but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay, good job. We have our first item. Check it out. A word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up. So it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one. <laughs> look, P-E-A-R, pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safety, safety, like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. Oh, do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors. The color yellow. <laughs> we did it! We found safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down, four to go. Safety goggles and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, whoa, it's like a grocery store or a market in here. Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool. It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice. These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables, they have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa! This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Oh, don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty tasty. See if there's anything in here. We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make bread. That's right. Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep looking. Okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. <gasps> Come over here. <gasps> Whoa, look at these big blocks. Huh, let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> put this on it and this. Or it could be a throne. Queen Mika. <laughs> oh, I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm. Maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. 
Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that's a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet and swing, 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 swing. But you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner and it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left foot yellow, see? Left foot yellow. Hmm. Left foot yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa, you have to try not to fall down. <sighs> I might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hmm. Come over here. <gasps> Whoa, do you know what this is? It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right, let's, oh, they go in these copies over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> hi. <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Look what I found. Dish soap. We definitely need this for our experiment. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right. I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. It says A-R-T, art. <laughs> This is an art space. <gasps> cool, look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm gonna choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's see, what should I draw? Ooh, I know, see if you can guess. It's a science flask. You can use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> it's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. <laughs> oh, and it's my two favorite colors, purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find, come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bee, I like your style, purple and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. 
Measuring cups! That's the last thing we need for our science experiment! We found everything! Let's head into the science lab. Come on! Hey, Trudy! Hi, Mika, welcome back! Thank you! I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment! Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah! I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika, you are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? There you go. Oh, thank you so much. An official lab coat, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone, safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. But remember, it's not really toothpaste, so please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay, a squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's gonna look yellow. Okay. All right, next we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up and get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. There we go, one teaspoon, add it to the water, and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together, okay? And then we're gonna add it to the glass, and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. It's going to the top. Did you see some of the colors? Wow, it really looks like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa, <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey. Thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide. And there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today. All for the love of science. <laughs> well. That's the end of this video. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style. <laughs> Let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> Thanks for learning with me. See you soon. <laughs> And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. 
Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. Right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the Flight Deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. Wow, it's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called 
the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Whoa! Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable pin. So one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa! There's more buttons back here! Oh! It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh, kinda looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa. There's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Ooh. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the space shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Oh, I'm down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says, Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle? Right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two. Two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space, like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here, there's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look 
how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the space shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> that was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <laughs> Come on. Wow. There are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist, come on. Hey, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I wanna make a skyline too, but I wanna do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies, though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa. Look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You want to count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm, oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see, look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh, purple. Oh yeah, purple in there and hmm, yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. It's purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. 
Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa! There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there. I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller, that can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, Whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. Missing anything? I need a canvas! This will do it! All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Oh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. Go, check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> so, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay, see? 
Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay, and then maybe some lines here, lines there. 
this building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika. Mika.